do people with the highest LDL cholesterols live the longest? You've probably heard this a lot of times. People claim that some studies showed that if you have high LDL or high cholesterol, you lived the longest. So first of all, a lot of those studies, like for example, the Swedish Amoris trial, that part of the conclusion was retracted by its own authors. The authors of that study said, eh, that was kind of wrong. That, does, that doesn't, that's not what our study found. So just know that. Second of all, when you have, where you have, when you have these kind of studies where they didn't really check cholesterol until people were in their 70s and 80s, because it, no one really used to check it back in the 1900, 1910, 1920. People who reached 100 who are now, you know, born, who were born back in 1902, 1920, 1915, they didn't have lipid markers back then that were being routinely checked. They weren't really checked till they were about 60 or 70. That eliminates a lot of the people who died young of a heart attack. There's survivorship bias. We only checked the survivors. But regardless, even in that study, the authors threw out that conclusion and said that is not true. So whenever somebody comes on here and says, what about this one study that showed people have high LDL live longer? There's also something called reverse causality. People who are dying of cancer, end-stage renal disease, end-stage uh, COPD, end-stage any cancer almost, their LDLs are super low. So that throws off the data and the statistics. So you are dying from the cancer, not from the LDL, because you're severely malnourished, cachectic, whatever, you barely weigh 70 pounds, your LDL cholesterol is gonna be very, very insanely low. That doesn't mean the LDL is killing you, it means the cancer is killing you, but the LDL is super low in these people, so it throws off the entire averages and medians in these studies. So next time somebody says that, just know they're trying to sell you some nonsense, follow an actual cardiologist.